Onyx also has full RDM capabilities, both via the ports built into the NX4 and via ArtNet with compatible nodes, such as the Netron line from Obsidian Control Systems. Let's show you how to use RDM. We'll head into the menu and into our patch, go to RDM, and then the first thing you want to do is press scan. When you press scan, it's going to look out to all the fixtures connected directly to the console as well as through ArtNet and it's going to make a list of them. Now if you have a lot of fixtures plugged in this is going to take a few minutes to pull all the fixtures through the RDM uh, signal, hear replies back, gather all the information. So make sure you have a minute or two to pull for RDM. Also when working with RDM older fixtures or fixtures that just don't work with RDM occasionally do behave erratically when they're sent RDM signal. Again, this is on a fixture by fixture basis and so just be aware that if you have non-RDM compatible fixtures in your rig alongside those RDM compatible fixtures, you need to be careful um, if clients are in the room, etc. Okay? The last thing to know about RDM, just if you have not used it before, is that any DMX splitters that are in your rig also need to be RDM compatible. A standard DMX splitter is not RDM compatible, but the ones that are through Netron are completely RDM compatible. They, they send both ways of communication. Great. Now after a few moments, all of our RDM fixtures are here in the list. We can see here all the data that's given for the fixtures, such as universe, address, and status. There's even more information that we can get. So if we press on a line here, such as this chorus line 16, we can press properties on the left. Now we get the full information that RDM has. Here we can come in here, we're in mode 3, we could change that if we'd like between any mode that the fixture has. We can see the lamp or power info. This light doesn't have a lamp so there's not much there. We'll see all our sensors, any RDM messages, as well as the actual PID get and response codes that we can pull um, as needed. Now, that's something if you're not really into RDM, you'll probably never, need, never use, but it's there. Just as an example, I'll go here to the Smarty Max, and then it shows me here the mode, DMX channels, start address, shows me if the lamp's on, etc. Now, I can go ahead through this sheet here, and if I need to change an address, I can just click in the address here. I see I get the set DMX address, and then I can change that address. So here, I'm just going to set that to 90, and now it will go over RDM, change that address, and I'll be good to go. Working with RDM can be a great way to save yourself time when there's a fixture up in the air or far away, and you need to change settings on it. Here in Onyx, we've got a full set of tools to deal with it. And when you're done, just close the patch, and you're done with the RDM.